Hello everyone and welcome to class of Open Daylight Controller. So today in this class of STN we are going to discuss about this controller as Open Daylight Controller. So what is the goal of this controller? Like it has to promote SDN and NFP. It is an open source controller under the Linux Foundation Collaborative Projects. So it is a software application as a Java virtual machine and it can run on, on any operating system that supports Java. So it is a modular open platform for customizing and automating networks of any size and scale. We have various blocks of this like North Bound REST APIs. We have network service functions, network orchestration function, service abstraction layer and southbound APIs. So it is driven by global collaborative community of vendor and user organization which continuously adapt to support the industry broad set of software defined networking and network function virtualization use cases. In this there is an open daylight code which has been integrated or embedded in more than 35 vendor solutions and applications and it can be utilized within range of various services. So this is a controller we have network elements which are connected with the help of open flow protocol. This is a service abstraction layer we can have data collection network programming discovery capability abstraction in this. Network service function, orchestration service management function, REST and OSGI framework is there. It enables the controller to be flexible, scalable in the development process and runtime extensible. Flexible means that it is able to serve a vast variety of application using the same framework and programming model and provide a reliable APIs. Scalable in the development process means that there is no common infrastructure subsystem. Controller has short integration time. Under runtime extensible, the controller can easily adapt to new data models and dynamically load other plugins. Open daylight architecture is model driven. It means that the core of the open daylight platform is the model driven service abstraction layer. In the open daylight, underlying network devices and network applications are all represented as object which are defined as models whose interactions are processed within service, service abstraction layer. We have various OpenFlow 1.0, OpenFlow 2.0s. This controller will start with OpenFlow 1.0 and Southbound plugin. These are linked dynamically into the service abstraction layer. Service abstraction layer basically figures out how to fulfill the requested service irrespective of the protocol used between the controller and various devices. So this is about open daylight architecture. We will continue with the SEL in our next class. Thank you.